Welcome to Best Incorporated Soldering Tip of the Month. Hi, my name is Norman Meir and I'm an IPC Master Instructor here at Best Incorporated. This month we're not going to do a soldering tip per se. Uh, this month I'm going to talk about is one of the most popular uh, standards in the industry. It is the IPC T50 which is for terms and definitions that we use a lot in the industry. We have our own language, not like anybody else. I don't see us going to parties talking about fluxing, de-wetting, non-wetting, stuff of that nature. Okay, so we had to come up with our own glossary or basically a dictionary. And that's what the IPC T50 is about. This here is the IPC T50 and its latest revision. Okay, and it's very helpful, especially with people that are just starting out in the industry. Uh, about some of the terms that you might be looking at and also this manual has acronyms. Now it doesn't have all of them but it does have a good majority of them and if you need to see more of them uh, the acronyms that are out there in the industry you can go to ipc.org acronyms and you can look them up from there. This is a great one because it gives you a little bit of definitions and there is also on some of them there is little figures to go with them to explain it a little bit better. Okay, so let's just see what a few of them are that uh, are most common asked questions that I hear. Okay, so let me put my readers on. I'm getting old. So here we go. Um, one of them that we talked about is uh, a cold solder joint. And I get that asked a lot. And here's a basic term for it. It's a, it's a solder connection that exhibits poor wetting and that is characterized by a grayish, porous appearance. This is due to excessive impurities in the solder, inadequate cleaning prior to soldering, and their insufficient application of heat during the soldering process. But it also tells you to go and look at rosin solder connections. Okay, that is one. Another one that I've marked off here is de-wetting. Okay, and that's before you uh, get married, you have de-wetting, right? Okay. It's a condition that results when molten solder coats a surface and then recedes to leave irregularly shaped mounds of solder that are separated by areas that are covered with a thin film of solder and with basic melt or metal not exposed. Next one that they talk about here that I get to ask questions about is what is an intermetallic solder joint or as here it says intermetallic compound comma solder. It says an intermetallic layer in a wetted solder connection between the wetted surface and the solder consisting of the solution of at least one constituent of wetted surface and at least one constituent of the solder. So you've got atoms coming in from your, your copper and then you've got the atoms when heated up from your solder combined to make a solder joint. Okay, and that area where these two combine is called that intermetallic layer. It has to be there for reliability, but the downside, because you have pros and cons of everything, it is the weakest part of a solder joint. Okay, so the get in, get out type scenario is what you want to see. Okay, and then like I said in the back of the book, uh, we have a bunch of acronyms too, like QFP, Quad Flat Pack. I get that question asked all the time. Or what's an SOT? What's an SOIC? So you can look these things up. Or a BGA, because a lot of companies don't deal with that, especially if they work with cables. So um, this book, the IPC T50, is a great standard to actually purchase. And it is the number one selling standard by IPC themselves. So I hope you've enjoyed this little brief one. And sorry for no soldering tip during this performance. Thank you and have a nice day.